Hello, my name's Gideon, I'm a Londoner, and today I'm in London, and I'm going to show you how to pronounce some irregular London place names. And at the same time, I'm going to tell you a little bit of history about London and some interesting facts too. But first, coffee. Cheers. Let's start with the river that runs through London. And the reason the city exists in the first place is called the River Thames, not Thames. Note that in British English, we say the word river first and then the name. So River Thames, not Thames River. In American English, it's the opposite. First the name, then the word river. The Mississippi River, not the River Mississippi. But in London, it's the River Thames. London used to be a Roman city called Londinium. It was a walled city. The walled city was strengthened up until medieval times. Not much of the Roman wall exists now, though you can still see a few stretches. To discover more about Roman London, visit the Guild Hall in the city of London, a beautiful medieval building in its own right. And next door, go to the basement of the Guild Hall Art Gallery to find the vestiges of London's Roman amphitheatre. To pass into the city, there were gates in the wall. The gates don't exist anymore, but the names do. Here I am at Aldgate, pronounced Aldgate, or Allgate with a silent D. Does it mean Oldgate? Maybe, but there is some debate about that among historians. Some suggest it means Eastgate or Alegate because beer, or Allgate because all people could pass through it. The gate was removed in 1761. And did you know that Geoffrey Chaucer once lived in an apartment above the gate? If you're visiting London, do check out the neighbourhoods around Allgate. You're near the Tower of London and Tower Bridge and a stone's throw from trendy Shoreditch, the market at Spitalfields and multicultural Brick Lane. And of course, the City of London. There are lots of things to do and see there, so do investigate. These neighbourhoods are in an area called the East End. Why the East End? Because they are east of the city walls. If you are inside the city walls, you are in what we call today the City of London, or just the city. It's the oldest part of London, but it's also the financial centre. It's a strange mix of old and new architecture. Definitely check it out. If you're visiting London for the first time, you'll probably be spending much of your time in the area called the West End because it's west of the old city walls. It's the shopping and entertainment centre of London. Some of the place names are quite irregular. This is the main shopping street. Oxford Street, not Oxford Street or Osford Street, no. And at the end of Oxford Street, you'll get to Tottenham Court Road. Most Londoners will pronounce it with two syllables. Never say Tottenham. No, it's Tottenham. And some Londoners won't even pronounce the second T. They'll just say Tottenham with a glottal stop. Can you hear it? Tottenham. And there'll be another glottal stop on court. So the whole thing will be Tottenham Court Road. Tottenham Court Road. Some people even call it TCR. Don't confuse it with a neighbourhood in North London called Tottenham, famous for a not very good football team. Nearby is another area which often gets mispronounced, and here it is. It's Hoban. That's right, Hoban. If you want any respect in London, you'll say Hoban and not Holborn. If you're in Hoban, do visit Lincoln's Inn Fields. It's the largest public square in London. And yet another place named round here with a silent L. Lincoln. Just a five minute walk north of Tottenham Court Road, you'll find Good Street. Not Good Street, but Googe, like Goose. The area around it is called Fitzrovia, and it's one of my favourite neighbourhoods in London. It's just a stone's throw from all the hustle bustle of central London, but here it's calm, relaxed, and really mellow. Check out Charlotte Street and the area around it for cool cafes and restaurants. One of the most famous squares in London is called Leicester Square, pronounced Leicester with two syllables, like the city Leicester. 
The square itself is a bit of a tourist trap these days and I tend to avoid it. However, just north of Leicester Square, you'll find Soho. Pronounce Soho, not Soho. Why is it called Soho? It used to be an area of hunting and apparently it was a hunting cry. Soho! And the dogs would start running or, or something like that. Soho is an area of bars, cafes and restaurants. Chinatown is in Soho. Chinatown's not very big, but the fact that it's right in the centre of London is really incredible. Soho is also the home of London's main gay scene. There are so many places to visit in Soho, but do check out Bar Italia, the spiritual home of London's Italian community, and the Dog and Duck pub, famous for its Victorian glassware and where George Orwell used to drink. Famous residents of Soho include Karl Marx and Mozart. Heading south, you'll find a street which is difficult to read, but not difficult to pronounce. It's Aldwych. Ald means old and which means village or farm. There are other place names in England with which or which, such as Norwich, Ipswich or Harwich. Almost all of the city of London is north of the River Thames. The exception is this part. It's pronounced Southwark. That's right, Southwark. The city of London has two cathedrals, St Paul's Cathedral, which is more famous, but there is also Southwark Cathedral. It, it dates back to the early 13th century. If you're walking along the south bank of the Thames, do check it out. Now take a slow boat along the Thames and head to Greenwich, pronounced Greenwich. Here you'll find Maritime Greenwich and the village of Greenwich. It's a historical town in its own right before it was incorporated into London. Let's head back into London and here is a London train terminus that even Londoners can't agree how to pronounce. I say Marleybone. That's how I grew up saying it. But others may say Marleybone and there are other pronunciations. But never, never, never Mary Lebone. That's just wrong. Marleybone is near Baker Street and Regent's Park, which is really beautiful at any time of the year. Finally, we head west, a famous street in Knightsbridge, a wealthy area of London famous for Harrods Department Store. Just around the corner, you'll find this street. But how do you pronounce it? Huh? If you're French, you might fall into the trap. No, it's not Beauchamp. It's Beecham. That's right, Beecham. And this is Beecham Place. At the end of the 19th century, it was a working class neighborhood full of brothels. But these days, you're more likely to find high end boutiques and luxury flats for the super rich. So, how many of those did you get correct? And if you can recommend something in London that you don't find in all the tourist guidebooks, then let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you next time on Let Them Talk TV. Bye.